My dad was my pastor for 27 years. People can say what they want. People can judge me. But when I die, I want to go to heaven. The disciples couldn't even see who Jesus was. If you look at the disciples, they couldn't see Jesus. They couldn't see his inside. Some of them couldn't see who he was. How they going to see who y'all are or I am? That's what made you ask for. I'm going to vote yes to move this to council, but I'm so tired of these discriminatory rules. And Miss Fields can say what she wants, but guess what? I'm going to say it again. These rules is analogous to having knees on my neck trying to run a multi-million dollar municipal corporation. And I heard last meeting, he's comparing himself to George Floyd. We gonna use analogies from Martin Luther King to, 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 to Emmett Till to George Floyd whenever we want to. And that don't mean I think I'm George Floyd. And so that ain't going to work. I heard it, and now I'm responding to it a meeting or two later. Yeah, Madam Chair. Mr. Mays. Real quick, Mr. Murphy, I'm a politician. I have no problem with you saying my name. Don't imply. If you think I'm talking, then I'm going to send you back to school because the clock go off at five minutes with everybody under the control. Point of information. What's your point? I graduated from Northwestern in 1993 with a high school diploma. That's an improper point of information. Yeah, that ain't a question. That's a statement. A point of information is a question. And then I decide whether I answer. I come out of Beach of Mount Moore, no other than Michigan State. Don't just stop at high school. So, you know, I want you to say my name. Councilman Mays, I'm going to say this for the last time. You have the right to call my name when you're doing your comments. Council comments, but do not use my name when you're in dialogue with your colleagues. I'm not going to keep telling you that. I mean that. And you should give me enough respect not to do that. You are the elected official. You are the one that can be called to order and this and that. And then you're raising your voice uh, like you do with other people. But you don't intimidate me. And I want you to understand that. And as far as uh, President Fields is concerned. What is your point of information, Mr. Mays? Yeah, do um, Miss, I think it's Barbara Moore, do she realize between me, myself, and God, ain't nobody trying to intimidate you? Do you realize that? Do you realize that you're not going to intimidate me? Do you realize that? Thank you so much, Janelle. Robert Jones speaking. How's it going, Council? Did y'all hear what that damn Barbara Moore said today? That lady needs some D or some P in her life. Whichever one she likes, and I can't give her none of it. I'm calling in regards to about, mm, I say about 76%. Point of order, of Madam Chair. What is your point of order? Threw me off. I'm sorry about that regarding Miss Barbara Moore, but um, she does need a D, a drink, or a P, a Pepsi. And to the rest of the council, thank you so much. Um, to the Reverend Dr. Bishop Eric Mays, Mr. Maurice. And we'll see. No, the no, first no, one. No, you, no, I don't need you talking when I got the floor, Miss Herkin Rhoda. This is getting to be a little much, you and Mr. Murphy. You can laugh. And I'm here to take care. Point of order. When I got the floor, keep your mouth shut, don't you out of order. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is my point. You can't just take the floor when I'm talking. So rule whether you can take the floor and laugh and do your remarks when I'm talking. That's my point of order. Can you do it? Mr. Mays, you are out of order, order and I'm issuing Point of order. I am issuing point you. of order. What's your point? I asked you to rule on my point. I appealed it. And you ruling me out of order because you interrupted me when I had to blow. I don't even know what you'd be saying up there. You and Mr. Murphy seem to be ignorant to some rules. Now, I wouldn't care if you point, point of order. Proven to me that you're ignorant to the rules. 
Now, this stuff get out of hand because of you and Mr. Murphy, in my opinion. And you sitting up there like you the queen of Sheba just making bad rulings, in my opinion. And it's getting on my nerves. And Mr. Murphy keep interrupting with point of information and point of orders when I'm talking. And I could interrupt him repeatedly. Then he throw his hands up. <coughs> I've been watch this stuff. That's what's not proper. Not a business. You asked me a quick inquiry and I answered it. Mr. Mays, you not have to Mr. That's Mays. That's what you should have told him. You should have told him that. Who gets an opportunity to do anything? You never shut up. What you howling for? You out of order. You have you the out floor, order. Mr. Mays. You have the Hey, floor. I'm Miss Fields. I'm, I'm, I'm point of order. Because this St. Agnes property is just like Jefferson School. I wouldn't care if his thin was if his skin was as thin as a uh, 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 whatever is thin. He can't tell me how to talk. I am. Your appeals are abusing me. Point of order. When the we there, point of order, she point. Should shut her mouth, cease Lord. talking, let you deal with the point, and you got a duty to remove her if she keep flapping her lip. Point of information. I'm asking you to rule on that. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Mr. President. Now listen at these well, people. Us? He knows he's on. Say it again. Proceed. Man. Proceed. You gonna warn him like you warn me. Come on. Don't interrupt. But I'm just saying you said you're gonna be fair, Miss Galloway. Mr. Davis. He done, he, I had to sit and listen to him, and now he don't can't take what I'm saying, and you ain't doing the same I one. am, Mr. Mays. I want you guys to wrap up. Get to Mr. Daly so we can get to the business. I was wrapped up. I asked for Come the on, special Mr. order, Go and ahead, then Mr. I didn't Mays. know he or you or anybody else would chime in, but I'd be doggone if I'm gonna sit here and listen to somebody said next to me who wasn't there, don't know what I asked, and don't know the business, I don't know where he at when I'm down here busting my butt moving around trying to get stuff ready for meetings. I have to be here. Other council people, whether they're doing eyebrows or whether they're doing whatever, I'm down here taking care okay, of Okay, Mr. Business. Mays, we have the, the point. I'm going to keep this Mr. meeting. Galloway, would Mays. you please quit doing this councilman like that because you make it go longer. I know how to talk through you to Thank Ms. You, Brown. Thank you, Mr. Mays. You're, in, you're starting to Additional, embarrass me and I'm trip me out. I'm not trying to embarrass you, Mr. Mays. It's 9 45. Miss Brown, Miss Galloway, move forward at 9 45. Okay, Mr. Mays, you can keep it up. You can keep it up. I'm Thank a you, point Mr. of order. Mays, you are done. What's your point of order, sir? Don't interrupt me when you give me the flow. That's your second I one. will interrupt you. Okay. I will move these meetings okay. forward okay. like you said. You said. keep it up. And so we're don't, done, Mr. Mays. Don't talk to me like a child. I'm not, Mr. Mays, but please. Now, I'm the senior council person. Been here for eight, nine years. I feel like Rodney Dangerfield. No respect. I'll try to tell them something. They gonna ask the city attorney who been acting city attorney for a week or two. So I wasn't no appeal appealing the, the warning. warning. I was appealing. You, you interrupted appeal, me, you hollering at me warning. like I'm a fool because I was talking about Attorney Kim and Miss Brown at the last meeting. I had the floor. You can't just because you don't like what I say. I didn't say. take the floor. I dry, you lean no, back you and ask me. A minute ago. I talk loud like I you do. I talk loud. So well, we if, both talk loud. If I say you I out dropped of order, the warning for been you. Been out of order. Been out of order. And so don't go on TV and YouTube talking about how I talk and abuse folks. You abusing and talking wrong to me. And that whenever I got the floor, just because you don't like what I say, you don't jump off and interrupt and go to howling at me. Because I, you ain't the only one can raise your voice. You was out of order, you've been out of order, and I called it out, and you're mad. No, I'm not. I'm well, not you, I, I, you let me up. use my 14 yeah. seconds it without arguing stop, with sir, you. That I, sir, I'm telling you. can you usually it, say it, wrap it, it, up. You don't you say, I ain't, excuse, I ain't arguing excuse with me. me. Get out I, I am, Let me be I'm excused. getting ready to May tell. I be excused? Absolutely. Thank you. I don't want to argue with you, you're wrong. 
Thank you. Is there anyone else who yeah. would like and he to is point an point of expo. information? What's your point? Uh, I believe you gave Miss Worthing permission to repeat. So there's nothing to say. You asked, she asked, you gave her permission, and she stated. Is this a point of information? Do you, do you know? Let me finish, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Do you realize, sir, that you gave her permission, and she then stated. Yeah, I give her permission to go to the top of the Mackinac Bridge and do a three-time somersault. I give her permission to go to the roof of City Hall and do a double flip belly flop. On the city business. If Trump and Iran get to blowing up people, I'm going to act and I'm going to ask that we get the hell out of here. So. Mr. Davis? Madam Chair, I second. Oh, yeah. There's a motion already on the floor. We have the last two minutes. Who are you listening to? Who told you I couldn't put a motion to suspend the rules? You listening to Davina and them again? You work for us and they work for us. I can make a motion to suspend the rules. Has made a motion to suspend the rules. And it's been second. You better quit listening to them. Ain't no discussion per se. Get up in general. That's paraphrasing. I'm going to say what I say, and then I'm going to calm down. I ain't studying Miss Fields and what she's right. talking about. And she need to be cool because I'm trying to be nice. But I'm not going to let her set the narrative Please, on our intelligence. Just okay, and I'm going to beg this council of five or six. But when they talk about leaving, Miss Worthen left, Miss Lewis didn't really have no question. It should be on your questions, and we should be moving. <laughs> Because what he doing... Point of information. What's your point of information, Councilwoman Lewis? Ms. Lewis had questions, but Ms. Lewis' questions were answered by other council people. Thank you. Is that Thank in the you, form Lewis. of a question or an out-of-order statement? Thank I, you. You know that. Madam Ms. Chair, can you handle Excuse that? Excuse me, Councilman Mays. Thank you, Councilwoman Lewis. That wasn't no uh, point Councilman of information. Mays, that was a statement. Councilman she called Mays. herself getting me told but want to be called doctor. Councilman Mays. Let me say this. Councilman Mays, hold up. Hold up. I Madam Chair, let me wrap up before that five-minute bill goes. This, this crowd is a little much. A little much. You got one of them lying, talking about I called them MF and Bs. You got another one over here constantly been acting a fool. And it's been the same crowd. Now, they've tainted some council folks. We didn't start this year out for this nonsense. So some folks is getting a little, as my grandmother say, in my opinion, too big for their britches. Let's pause, point of order. When the administration is speaking, the council person's time still going on? Is that what Piper alleging? He don't want me to talk, and he want to have folks filibuster my time? I ain't buying it. Now, I want to, if we have to stop to do that, then we can really get funky up in here, and I won't call on them. And how can you function in a city when Pfeiffer and anybody else who down there with Neely, um, in my opinion, you call up administrator, they talk for five minutes, clock go off, you ain't said a word. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Pretty much for months. And you gotta get rid of that president, and y'all can't tolerate it. And now that, it's been going on and on, it's recorded, I'm getting tired of it. Oh, what's Jermaine? Point of, point of what's Tito? Yeah, go ahead. Um, some of us is tired of you. I know it, and you one of the main ones. Sure is. So, Miss Galloway, you, I'm from Flint. Flint stone to the bone. You come from California. I'm not going to do the five-minute rule. And I'm going to stand up for Flint. We going to do business, and we going to do it in more than five minutes. And I'm going to help run this city. Amen. So your speech, combating with my speech, any of them want to politic, let's do it. Ms. Herkenroder was saying that. And Mr. Piper, I'm looking at her talking to you when I was talking, and you honored it, and then want to try to disrespect me. I ain't studying you. It don't take me long to catch on the folk. I caught on the Griggs, Kate Fields, 
Juan Perez Davis, Maurice Davis, and you and her. And I am be studying you. You can go try to make your reputation off somebody else. I'm not the one. Thank you, Madam Chair. Is there anyone else in the second round? Yes. Councilman Murphy, Thank you have the floor, um, sir. <clears throat> to the residents. That's a mess. You keep listening to Herc and Road in there, Mr. Piper. I'm starting to hate I went over there dealing with Griggs now. He was better than that. You keep listening to Herc and Road. Excuse me, Madam Chair. Excuse me, Mr. Edwards. So love much. Go ahead, Mr. Edwards. Well, my, my, my um, and I probably have a basic understanding. Uh, it's approximately. And when I warn you, you can appeal it. Now, I done told you whether you believe it or not. Say it again and see what happens. I mean, just ridiculous. Ain't and your colleague ain't and you gonna condone this worthy. But let me cuss y'all out. Oh, the president is just no decorum. Point, point of order. What's your point of order? Um, to you through the um, clerk, is we all exhausted our um, minutes? Let me say this. Don't even answer, clerk. A point of order, I'm a rule on. I read the articles. I ain't stuttering. Ain't stuttering. I'm looking. Demeanor is admissible in the court of law. Monica Randy, and she's. They ain't gonna I heard it. I call the police. You can get order of the chair. They're not gonna dictate when we get elected and talk and can ignore me and Maurice appeals. Write that. It's unprecedented. But you wanna nod with her. Wanna nod. But you ain't hearing and seeing the me. I disappear. Come back. Try again. But you shaking your head. You ain't looking at the big picture. You're nasty with them. You're nasty with maybe it's a cultural difference. She ain't from Flint, you ain't neither. We gonna fight for our turf. Write that. You not gonna dictate our turf. Them live ain't gonna dictate it. And her butt from San Diego ain't neither. So y'all gang up. See the whole picture. We gonna fight for the voice of our elected seat. And gonna get it. Who do you think you are? Want to beg your pardon? I think I'm sorry. And you think you are above this? I don't think I'm above anybody. But I'm not yelling at you right now. You ain't saying nothing, but I am talking loud. Talking loud and getting recorded. Because I want everything I say to be recorded and documented. Just like my job on that council. I want to record and document my questions and budget hearing on finance. What am I? Um, yeah. It, it just astounds me when someone's offended so much that they would stand up and scream. Point of order. We on discussion on a motion about some charter amendments, not behavior. And if she want to go there, I'm going to go there with her. If you allow it, we'll be talking about that. Don't oh, what a stound. It stound me. You missed so many Mr. damn me. You have been recognized. On purpose, I was out of order. I apologize, but I'm tired of her. So don't tell this public anybody should be able to take care of city business in five minutes. Nope. Woody Eppley didn't. Floyd McCree didn't. Chester Simmons didn't. Um, Ed Taylor didn't, Burdell Duncan didn't. That's just something you new folks don't know about. So whatever, nobody call you no MF or no B. You heard it? Where was I at? You shaking your head, I didn't interrupt you. You ain't even got, that's why I sit way over here. You won't distract me, you won't lie on me, I don't trust you, I don't believe you, and it's the same way with Quincy, Hurrican Rhoda, Worthing, um, and two more y'all. I start naming y'all name too in a minute. Um, you can't say their name. No, you just say the councilman in the first ward. 
Now what fool don't know who you're talking about? I say your name, Trump's name, Biden's name. Don't get up here and act brand new. Because you are. When they go low, I go lower. And so far it done worked. <laughs> and I'll be 64 in September. If you want to play with a child or want to play a game, go to Toys R Us. I'm not the one. Thank you. Is there any other discussion in the second round?